What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get Us Go, teaching y'all how to block nanos or blitzes in Madden 17. It's a highly requested blitz. Uh, let's, get, let's just set up something blitz. Let's just set up a blitz like the Cover Three Bluff, popular blitz. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're just gonna go to popular formation. Like a lot of people use something like this. Uh, so a lot of people use something like this. Whatever. I come on and play like uh, angle smash. So the first thing you want to do, uh, let, me, let me set this blitz up. So the blitz, here's the blitz. You gonna pencil line, boom. Boom, dude do, do doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is the blitz, all right? Now, the first thing you want to do uh, to block a nano blitz, first of all, you got to know if they're nano blitzing. So, to tell if they're nano blitzing, if you got time, all you want to do is motion somebody. Now, since I base the line, y'all see how nobody's moving? When when no one's moving and you base a line and you motioning people, that means that means they have base a line. That means you know they're setting up a defense. Now, somebody just comes out in the defense when you motion someone, usually the corner, even if it's a zone or something, they will follow them, they will move, the defense will move. No one's moving, so you know, okay, something's up, he base a line, he must be blitzing me. Now, you got to see what side it's coming from. Now, the cover three bluff is really hard to tell, but uh, since you ran against it so much, here's another thing, play wreck. You're like, bro, play wreck is supposed to be for cards. Play wreck is for you, too. You going to get you went against these blades so much in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, oh, but, but before we get into it, uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I forgot to say that. Uh, liking the video always helps the channel grow. Blah blah blah. I need y'all to like this video. Let's get my channel growing. Let's get it. But like I said, uh, you need to have play wreck too. So if you went against this blitz, blitz before and he's usually he's using his safety. If someone's using their safety, that means either they're using a flat or a hook zone. So you know the blitz has to be coming from this side because that means this guy's blitzing. Because if no one's going to be in the flats and they put a safety in the flat, that means heat is coming. So all you want to do is try to, first of all, block a running back to the same side. And then just slide to that side. So now what happens? The cover three bluff, the instrument's cover three bluff, it gets picked up, right? Yeah. Boom. You dot him up. You do your thing. And then you're like, all right, J-Mail. Uh, what if they're doing something like sending some unblockable heat? You know, they're sending something like, something like that. They're they doing that BS. So now they're doing that. You block a running back. Uh, if that's not working... Motion this guy out. Here's how you block most blitzes. You motion him out, and boom. Oh, okay, that didn't work. And normally, don't, he ain't supposed to. He ain't supposed to hike the, hike the ball that fast. But uh, or you could also like that. That that's just what you want to do. As long as you blocking, how you do something like that. That that's how the ball usually look. I hike the ball. The running back blocking. As long as you blocking a running back and slide to that side, you should pick up almost any blitz in Mad 17. Now you're like, what about the nano blitzes with like, uh, you try to max the tech and it just don't work, you know, J-Mail? Uh, what, what, what stuff like that, here you gonna wanna do, like, uh, the FS slant, stuff like that, the buck slant that comes in with a running back block, or whatever. You wanna do something like, where is it at? Is this it? You wanna come on a formation where you can motion out the running back and he can block, or you can motion a receiver and he can block, uh... Like something like snugs. Like if I come out and PA wide receiver cross. Let's see if we got all right, we got a nano blitz in here. Boom. Let's go to the FS slant three. So I base the line, I set it up, I drag this guy out. I'm like, alright, I got some unblockable heat. Do think he got some unblockable heat, right? All you wanna do, I think you can do this with this play. Where we at? When you run bench switch. If you like running back to the same side, this blitz still will get picked up. But if you motion him out, like put him on any route, motion him, and as soon as he get to this line, you hike. All right, usually, usually that don't happen. Usually he blocks. But there's a certain formation where you motion running back out and hurry up and hike the ball. When, when that happens, like I think I can do it with Jason Witten. Also, let's set up the blitz one more time. But usually you want to motion. You can motion receivers over and block them. You can, uh, you can motion receivers to your side. You can motion receivers to the doing like i could do this hike the ball and you see how he picks him up like you motion receiver you do your thing that's exactly that's the way you like i'm i it, it sucks is that how it is because that's how bad the game is because they're making nano blitz that can come in with three people block we all see if i was a blocker running back like, let's look at play like if i was a blocker running back here right okay i hike the ball you got oh that time it got blocked because i was blocking an extra receiver oh getting busy this shit does. But y'all see, uh, I set up the blitz. The running back just didn't block him. And and I know that gets frustrating because y'all say, yo, if I block a running back to that side, hypothetically, like, 
this should get blocked, right? And I know it's just frustrating. He's like, I'm blocking six people. He's rushing four. But look what happens. Like, this, this bullshit happens, and it's happening to everyone. And I know, and I'm sorry, y'all. But the, uh, the thing you want to do to fix that, uh, just you want to do stuff like just motion receivers. Recognize where it's coming from. Like I said, if he base align it, I'm going to do this. Like, if he base aligns, I motion this guy over. I'm like, all right, let me test. Just test the blitz. Let me see. All right, he's base aligning. All right, now that I know he's base aligning, I know that a blitz is coming, right? So now I can set up my routes. Uh, I can, all I got to do is motion this guy over. He's sending the blitz as soon as he gets there. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Is he... Usually, you want to hike it like when he's in the middle of the line of scrimmage because that will help a lot better. But uh, this is the basic way you want to block nano blitzes. You want to use your receivers, utilize your receivers, and see if they're base aligning. And then from there, use receivers to block the blitz. This is the, I hate it, but it's like the only way you can really block a blitz. Like y'all see, boom, I block it, you pick it up. Now you can make reads from there. That's, that's how easy it is. Make sure you just have good reads. I hope you all enjoyed this. And also, just run the ball. That's the best thing you can do against a blitz is run the ball. Like, especially quick base. One of the best things you can do is run the ball. Like, most blitzes are uh, heavy outside. So, just run the ball. You'll be straight. But I hope you all enjoyed this. But until then, it's your boy, J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It. Let's